Good evening, Trice Elementary. My name is Robin Hickerson, and I am actually a retired public school employee. I worked for Texarkana, Arkansas School District for 28 years, and then I worked for the University of Arkansas for a year, and now I work at the Texarkana Chamber of Commerce. It is an honor for me to read to you this evening. I tell you, you may notice that I have on some pink. I have some pink in my dress and I have pink here on my bracelet. And I'm wearing pink today, especially because this is the month of October. And October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I actually have a few friends who are facing breast cancer right now. This bracelet is for my friend Jamie. I have another friend Heather, another friend Kathy, a friend named Jennifer, and they're all going through breast cancer right now. And I have some friends in my heart who have been through breast cancer. And I bet many of you do as well. So I just wanted to take a moment to say throughout the month, when you see pink, pink bows, pink t-shirts, pink socks, think past the month and think about the people and keep them in your thoughts and think about how you might help them because many of them have needs. And the book that I'm going to read to you tonight is about a little boy who had a need. It's a funny book, and it makes light of the situation. His grandmother tries to help him meet his need, and it, it has a comical ending. But I just want to, again, encourage you to look for needs in our community, especially this month, for people who may be facing cancer, and do what you can to help. So my story is called, What? Cried Granny. An Almost Bedtime Story, and it's by Kate Loom and Adrian Johnson. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Patrick who was having his first sleepover at his granny's house. As the sun began to set, Granny said, Patrick, dear boy, it'll be dark soon. Time to get ready for bed. But Granny said, Patrick, I don't have a bed here. What? cried Granny. She ran out to her yard where some tall trees were going, growing, and she chopped one down wonder what she's going to do with that tree. She carried it over to her workroom, opened up her toolbox, and she made Patrick a fine bed. You can see here, there's a drawing of a bed. So Patrick didn't have a bed, and his granny made him a bed. Then she painted it a restful shade of blue, put a comfy red mattress on it, and took it to the bedroom. There you are, dear boy, said Granny. Now climb into your bed, lay your head on the pillow, and sail off to dreamland. But Granny, said Patrick, I don't have a pillow here. What? cried Granny. She ran out to her hen house, woke up the chickens, and collected a big bag of feathers. She took them to her sewing room, where she made a bag out of cloth. Then she stuffed it with the feathers, sewed it up neatly, and gave it to Patrick. There you are, dear boy, said Granny. Now climb into bed, lay your head on the pillow, tuck the blanket under your chin, and I'll kiss you goodnight. But Granny, said Patrick, I don't have a blanket here. What? cried Granny. She ran outside, headed for the hills where a flock of sheep were snoozing. snoozing. She sheared some off their wool and ran right back home. So now she's trying to make him a blanket. She took the wool to her basement, spun it into yarn, knitted a fuzzy, warm blanket, dyed it the prettiest shade of twilight purple. When it 
was dry, she carried it upstairs and spread it on the bed. Now, dear boy, said Granny, climb into your bed, lay your head on the pillow, tuck the blanket under your chin, give your teddy bear a big hug, turn out the light. But Granny, said Patrick, I don't have a teddy bear here. What? cried Granny. She grabbed her emergency sewing kit, tore down the living room curtains, cut, sewed, stuffed, added button eyes and a red ribbon, and made a teddy bear for Patrick. Look at that. There's the teddy bear. Now, Patrick, cried Granny, climb into bed, lay your head on the pillow, tuck the blanket under your chin, give your teddy bear a big hug, and go to sleep. But Granny, said Patrick, it's morning. What? cried Granny. The end. Again, thank you, boys and girls, parents. I appreciate this opportunity. Please do something nice for someone during the month of October.